Alrighty folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the high level membership slash course builder. Some really incredible stuff that has come out here recently. And if you're switching from another software, I'm just gonna show you that this is the right choice for you. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're joined by Sebastian. Say hello, Sebastian. So once you're inside of your account, you're going to see all of these options inside of membership. So we've got courses, communities, and certificates. As you can see, the communities and certificates are relatively new as of Q4 2023. Now, at first glance, this can be a little bit confusing, but I promise you the complexity on our end makes for a very simple experience for the end user. So that's super important. So let's go ahead and go to courses and products. And here you can see a bunch of different courses that I've created and can see at a glance how many members are in there, etc. Let's go ahead and click into this high level mastery one. This is what you get if you sign up for high level underneath me. What I've done is just duplicated that over and then I've drafted the parts that aren't included just for high level affiliates. So you can see most of these are in draft, but the published part is the only thing that's actually going to show up for the client. So I'll go ahead and hit preview and show you what this looks like. As it loads, you can see I have this very first part here, the organization plus tracking plus automation, go high level mastery. And then I give a client snapshot overview. So everything that's included in the snapshot. And if I click onto this individual sub, section here. This is what this looks like. And then if I click on an individual one, it's going to show up here and it's only going to show the ones inside of that subsection. Now, one thing I don't love about the high level membership builder, I will say is that these thumbnails don't automatically populate. So they just have this kind of annoying looking thumbnail thing. I have to come in here and actually design a new one for each one in the builder and update it if I want it to show up. So I come in and select an image and upload that there. So one that's updated would look like this. You see organization tracking automation overview. So is what it is, but it does end up for like a little bit less of a good UI on this end if you forget to update those, which I do all the time. So that's what the back end of the course looks like. But let's take a little bit closer look on what you can do on each one of these posts. Basically, you can update the title. You can change the category here. You can update anything that's underneath the video. So for example, if I click on this one, it has the link to my snapshot blurred out for you guys. If you join, you'll get it. It's pretty amazing. And then it has the instructor here, all pretty standard looking stuff. I would say this looks really similar to the Kajabi builder and course. UI on the back end. But honestly, what I've showed you so far is just barely scratching the surface as far as the functionality here. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. If I hit details here, you can see I can name the title of the actual course, add some descriptions, create the product thumbnail and put it here, add the instructor badge, the logo, and any advanced JavaScript, CSS, tracking code, etc. that I'd like to add. Then if I go to customize here, I can go ahead and change what the UI looks like on the back end for people, which is super cool. So if I hit preview on here, this is the one that we've had before. That looks great. But if I had a preview on New York, it's a little bit different here where it's going to show every single video kind of like this underneath its own little subsection here. This one is kind of overwhelming to me. I'm not sure I prefer it. This last one, which is new, looks similar to Teachable, which is quite cool. Everything on the left and then this stuff showing up on the right. So not a massive difference to the other one, but if you prefer one over the other, it's perfect for that. And of course, if I come into this classic one and I hit customize, I can change the theme settings like the primary color, the secondary color, the header, the hero section, the font, the background, other information for each section on the lesson progress, etc. Just all the settings here. It looks great. It looks beautiful. There's people that you can hire to do that for you if you don't want to do it yourself. All right, next up, we've got offers. And this is where you can just see the offers. You actually create the offers here under courses and offers. Come back to that in a minute. Comments, you can allow comments to be seen in public or both. Only allow them on certain videos, etc. So super helpful there. And then lastly, certificates. What's really cool here is we can come to certificates. We can create create a new certificate using a template and go ahead and grab this. And we can just leave this here. Certificate of completion, company name, contact name has successfully achieved the certification. All right, let's say that's what we want it to look like. Obviously there's tons of other customizations here that we can add, or we can just upload our own or create it from scratch in here. Then if I come back to my course here and hit high level mastery, go to certificates, I can attach one of those certificates here that will give it to people when they're done, which is super cool. Allows people to feel a sense of accomplishment when they're done. Beautiful. Next up, let's check this offers side. Basically, this is the way that you sell the courses or deliver the courses. It's a little bit weird. To me, the word offers doesn't really make sense. But if you've used Kajabi, you know that this is kind of how this works as well. Basically, what you can do is hit create offer. You can just call this, let's say, high level mastery test. We select the product that it's going to deliver, which would be high level mastery. I could select multiple ones if I wanted to do that. So you could put like a course bundle together. You can set the type to one time recurring or free. And then you could set the price text override if you'd like to do that. And there you go. This is 
is created. Now I can come in here, create everything, and it's created the checkout for me automatically. So people can come here. All they have to do is email and full name, hit proceed to checkout. If I want to add an upsell, I can, which would be a one-click upsell or an in-app upsell. I'll show you those in a minute. And if I went ahead and changed the price, let's say it's $50 for a one-time payment, go ahead and save. I can allow the checkout to accept coupons and I can hit edit checkout here. And it'll allow me now to change what's on here, collect any extra information, change the details here, add more agreement language, add some bullet points underneath here, all totally possible with this. Now, in my case, I prefer just using a normal funnel with a normal checkout to do this, but there are some benefits to using the offer checkout here. Totally up to you what you want to do. Now, I mentioned those in-app upsells what's really cool is i'll go ahead and go to my course library here as if i was a student and you can see the courses that i have access to here but you can also see that there are a couple of them that are locked and that's because these are the in-app upsells they're here so if you sell somebody on one of your products every time they go see that product you can also encourage them to buy the next product so for me if somebody purchased my group coaching the next one would be the one-on-one -on -one coaching so i just have it there so everybody knows what it is they can click on it and they can see everything that's included in it very cool super useful all right next up we have analytics here so what we can do here is track course progress assessments if that's something that we're doing so not just videos inside of the courses but actual quizzes things like that member analytics access and track profiles of the learners i'll show you what that is in just a second and then lastly revenue analytics so i'll go ahead and hit course progress here and we'll go ahead and click on the high level master one that we we're just looking at so you can see who has joined and what they've actually gone through here now this course is free when you sign up with high level a lot of people sign up don't actually log into the course but it's really cool to go through and see who has actually watched some of the videos mark them as done. And again, if this is like a free offer, what I could do is go through here and say, oh, these are my hot leads because I know these people have actually watched the course. Now these members analytics is going to be basically the same thing just for individual people. So what's really cool is I can see how many times people have logged in here, how many products they have and how many videos they've actually watched. Crazy cool. And then lastly on revenue analytics, you can go ahead and see net revenue, compare offers, see where people have checked out. And this is the benefit of using high level for absolutely everything. So you can compare this and actually get some cold hard data on all of this. Now, lastly, let's go ahead and go to settings here. So here you can set up the site details like branding and SEO settings of the site. You can set up your custom domain. So for me, it's agencydominance.itskeaton.com. That takes people to this screen where they can log in. Looks very clean. Email settings, you can set these to be specific templates or set up other email templates and then turn them on here. And then lastly, you can control the app settings. Right now it's just a progressive web app, but they are coming out with a learner app that's gonna have a lot more capability in it, including communities. Super excited for that one. I think it's Q1 of 2024, it's coming out, so it may already be out by the time you see this video. While we're in here, I'll go ahead and show you what it's like to add a new lesson or subcategory and assessment. So let's say I wanna add a subcategory and this one is the tests subcategory beautiful so now that's added a subcategory underneath this category if i want to add a big subcategory like one of these the welcome or the business foundations then i go ahead and hit plus here and it's the same thing create a category however inside of this subcategory i can add a lesson or an assessment in the assessment i'll go ahead and do a test and if i click edit on this then it'll allow me to write the instructions or upload a template for the instructions and then have a confirmation message what this ends up looking like i'll go ahead and hit preview here they can say okay here are the instructions they hit start assignment and then it's going to have the instructions again for them there they can set their answer or they can upload a worksheet and hit submit and then you would manually check that so right now they don't have quizzes like some other course creation apps but this could be useful for some people all right so that's it for the actual course creation app but now let's dive into communities it's really cool about communities is that they allow you to host a place for people to ask questions in the same place where the actual course is so go ahead and create a new group for us here we're going to call this the test group and it automatically creates that url for us we can change that if we want and we'll say this is a test we'll show the brand color we can upload the favicon cover image logo etc if we want and boom it's just created that community now this is what it looks like and what's cool is i can go ahead and post something that's like hey new members what's happening and then i can upload an image or a video an attachment add a link or an emoji go ahead and select a channel for that so we say like general for example and then i go ahead and post that in the general channel Channel. looks like it didn't work because I hadn't created the general channel before but now I can come in and say hello world what's going on it's going to be in the general channel and there you go very cool so I can add unlimited amounts of channels in here for people to discuss specific things and then I can come to this learning app and I can go ahead and add one of the courses for example the high level mastery one we've been going over here and as you can see I can even add a paid version of a particular course like an upsell which is super cool and I can see all of the other people inside of the community here which is super 
super helpful. They're beefing this out more and more, so it's gonna compete with the best course platforms out there pretty soon, but pretty insane what they've already built in here. You can also come into settings, add a subscription, change the branding, change the links, and any other details that are important to you for that particular group. He's crying, so I gotta go, but I hope this was helpful to all of you. If you're looking to sign up for high level or upgrade under somebody, I have $8,000 worth of bonuses that you can access by going to gohighlevel.com forward slash Keaton Walker. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys. I'm gonna go take care of him.